Here we have the all new Lego Ninjago starter set. Now, this set is perfect for kids ages 6 through 14, and the set comes with 57 Lego pieces. When I first heard about the Lego Ninjago sets, I was totally surprised because not only do you have the ability to build up and connect Lego pieces like original Lego, but you can actually uh, use the Lego spinners and Lego characters to actually play a game which Lego created. Now, before we get into the game, I want to introduce what's on the table. Now, the set, like usual, would come with an instruction booklet, but it's not like the usual one-page flip, flip book. If you just pop open the instruction booklet, and there you go. It's extremely simple and easy to read. Now, the set comes with two characters, Jay and Rockjaw. Both characters are very, very detailed. If you look at Rockjaw, you'll notice that he has the skeleton, body, he legs, head, and arms. And if you go to his chest piece, you'll notice his symbol and all the detail from the spikes to the body armor going down his chest line. And you'll notice that even on his head, there are very small details from the eyes to the mouth to these stitches along his forehead. And he comes with three weapons. He comes with a sword, a bone, and this mace. And for each Ninjago character, they come with a unique spinner. Rockjaw spinner is this nice black and orange colored spinner. The orange is his skull symbol with the red lightning coming out of the side. And he also comes with the blocks. And I'll tell you why the blocks are here later, because in the game you can actually connect the blocks onto the spinner. Or you can actually use the blocks for a very special reason. And likewise, Lego did make cards for the characters, which I thought was extremely, extremely unique, because Lego has never added cards into their series of any Lego creation. So I thought it was really unique that Lego took that extra step into making this set just a lot better. Now, on to Jay. Jay is very, very detailed. He has the blue ninja outfit. He has this nice headpiece. And what's really unique about this headpiece is that there is this clip back here, which you can take any weapon, like for instance his golden spear, and attach on the side. Now, Jay has a very nice thunder symbol, thunder and lightning symbol, right on his chest. And he has all the nice ninja details from his outfit, like the belt and the wrinkles on his shirt, which was very, very detailed. And he also comes with a very unique spinner, and he has a blue colored block. And he also comes with his own cards. Now, on to the arena. The arena is just rods connected to rods, making a octagon. And what you do 
with the arena is you just place the spinners inside and you spin them. And I'll show you how to play with that later. But I thought it was really nice how the set came with a basic arena. Now, the Ninjago set itself has really basic rules. There are only four steps. Step number one, choose your character. And to demonstrate, I will choose Jay. Now, I can choose any three of Jay's weapons. Either his golden spear, his ninja sword, or his staff. But I will choose his golden spear. Now, I can either take one hand and place the spirit in one hand, or I can place the spear in both hands, just like so, and I can put him on his spinner, like that. And how the spinner works is the inside, you'll notice tiny ridges and this, this sliver, this kind of thin piece just hanging in the middle. Now, what this piece is for is once you've placed your character on, the little slab right here goes in between his legs and it keeps him just, just tight enough so that when he's spinning he doesn't fall out but at the same time loose enough so that when the two spinners are going head to head they can knock each other out for either whoever wins. Now after you've chosen your character and weapon, step number two is to pick your cards. Now the set comes with five cards, but one of the cards is your character stats. And this just tells you whether the character can use the card or not. On this card, you'll notice that there are bars going up on each different element. Here you'll notice Jay has four bars for electricity. And that means that if you have an ability card, and for instance, if it had five bars of electricity, you could not use it because Jay did not have the requirements to use the card. If you wanted to use a card, your character would have to have five bars of lightning. But in this case, it only has four bars. And Jay also has four bars of lightning, which means that you can use his card. Now, step number three is to pretty much go. What you do is once you've placed both characters onto their spinners and you've chosen their weapons, you spin them and the rules say that before you spin them, you gotta say Ninja Go. Just like, the, just like the game, or the set's name. And finally, the fourth step is what I've demonstrated before. Once they're spinning, whoever gets knocked off their spinner, the other character wins. But he doesn't just win the match. What happens is, whatever weapon the character is using, you get to take their weapon. And pretty much once you're out of weapons, you can no longer play, and the other character has succeeded and won the game. Now, on to the ability cards. Here we have Jay's best ability card. Now, what this ability card does is you can take your spinner and you can add the blocks onto the spinner. Just like so.
but in Rockjaw set, you'll notice that he does not have one of these abilities. So, what you can actually do with the blocks, too, is you can actually take a card and place it on the block, just like so, which I thought was very unique. Like I mentioned before, the characters do have their own stat cards. This is Jay's stat card. And both characters have a uh, trade-off card. And Jay's trade-off card is you give up your helmet so that in case you were on your spinner and you got knocked off, you can use your trade-off card, but for the trade-off card, you have to give up your helmet just so you don't lose your weapon. Another card is the throwing star. This card is really basic. Once you've spun your card, you just take it and you can throw it. And finally, the smoke screen card. This card is, it allows you to, uh, once you've spun the spinners, your opponent has to close their eyes for the entire match until somebody has won. So they have to play blind, pretty much. Now, on to Rock Jaws abilities. He also has a stat card. And he has a flame pit. What the flame pit does is you can place it anywhere in the arena. And if your opponent lands on the flame pit, they lose. Here we have the off balance card, which I thought was a really cool card. Because you can make a character stand on one leg while they're inside the spinner making it easier for you to knock them off. And here is Rockjaw's pretty much trade-off card. It's called Cut and Run for Rockjaw. What you do is you give up one of your arms, just like so, so that you do not lose that round. And finally, Rockjaw's best ability card, Up for Grabs. And what this card does is if you are both spinning and you both fall off your spinners, then Rockjaw wins the match. And for Lego Ninjago, you can only use the ability cards once throughout the game, so use them wisely.